Hello, Booktube. Uh, this is Joshua here, and um, I'm going to be reading you a poem by James Merrill uh, titled For Proust. Over and over, something would remain unbalanced in the painful sum of things. Past midnight, you arose, rang for your things. You had to go into the world again. You stopped for breath outside the lit hotel. A thin spoon, bitter stimulants will stir. Jean takes your elbow, Jacques your coat. The stir spreads. You are known to all the personnel. As through packed public rooms you press, impending palms, chandeliers, orchestras, more palms, the fracas and the fragrance, until your palms are moist with fear that you will miss the friend Conjury, but she is waiting. A child still at first glance, hung with fringes on the low ottoman. In a voice reproachful and low, she says she understands you have been ill. And you, because your time is running out, laugh in denial and begin to phrase your questions. There had been a little phrase she hummed, you could not sleep tonight without hearing again. Then, of that day she had sworn to come, and did not, was evasive later. Would she not speak the truth two decades later, from loving kindness learned if not inborn? She treats you to a look you cherished, light, bold. Mon ami, how did we get along at all those years? But in her hair, a long white lock has made its truce with appetite. And presently she rises. Though in pain you let her leave, the loved one always leaves. What of the little phrase? Its notes, like leaves in the strong tea you have contrived to drain, strangely intensify what you must do. Back where you came from, up the straight stair, past all understanding, bearing the whole past. Your eyes grown wide and dark, eyes of a Jew, you make for one dim room without contour and station yourself there. Beyond the pale of cough or of gardenia, erect, pale. What happened is becoming literature. Feverish in time, if you suspend the task, an old, old woman shuffling into draw curtains will read a line or two, withdraw. The world will have put on a thin gold mask. Thank you, Booktube.